Well, good morning and welcome back to Big Girl Hunters. As you can see from my face, I'm pretty damn excited. A little bit different this time. You join me in my van. I'm literally just about to bolt down to Reading to join some of the other Rich Worth team because we're having a social at the Blue Pool. I'm absolutely buzzing. I've been looking forward to this weekend for months and uh, hopefully we can get amongst them. Let's have it. <laughs> Welcome to the standing banks of the Bareford Blue Pool. Quite historic lake this one, has been around in the carp scene for a while. It's an exclusive um, bookable venue, beautiful gin clear water, quite a lot of fish in it up to sort of the, the mid 30 range I'd imagine. Plenty of sort of nice scaly ones, dark ones, the odd common. Although I haven't caught a common from here, I've only caught one mirror last year in October. So this will be my second trip down here with the Richworth lads. I'm absolutely buzzing. So I blasted it down from Dorset this morning. It took me about an hour and a half. There was a little bit of traffic, but it wasn't too bad. We've done the draw and everyone's in their swims. I'm sort of just about to get set up and get, get ready. I uh, managed to get a fairly decent swim to one. It's a swim they call Corder Corner. For obvious reasons, uh, one of the underwater, I think it might have been underwater three that they filmed here. Uh, quite a few years ago, due to the, the clear water here, it, was, it sort of lent itself for the, for the underwater filming. So one of the early ones they did, and I've ended up in this in this uh, corner. There's an easterly blowing down in here. There's a lot of scum in, in, in the sort of snags. Normally you can kind of get in there and have a look, but there's a lot of scum. And I have seen there's lots of fish around. I was going to pick in this swim opposite me. I was literally just deciding and getting my gear, and then I saw three fish show in the margin here. So I, I sort of decided to go on here. And you'll be a fool not to set up on, uh, on showing fish. There's plenty in here, and um, I better get, get set up and, and start thinking about how I'm going to attack this lake and what I'm going to do and, and where and sort of investigate, get a lead out and investigate a few different areas. And I think I might start off with a couple of solid bags and see if we can winkle one out. Well, the rods are all out, so I've managed to find three fairly decent spots. So the right-hand rod I've got in the, the scummy snag, as I call it, because uh, where, the, where there's an east, been an easterly pushing down a load of scum and sort of fluffy stuff um, into it. And in times past, I actually have seen quite a few fish down there. It's, it's the shallowest spot I can find in this swim. It's around just, uh, just over five foot, and then it just slowly drops off. It's nice and firm down there as well, and I know it does get fished quite a bit, so nice and clean. So I've, I've, I've whacked a solid bag on there. My middle rod, I've got fishing over just off to, off to some snags that sat in front of me. That's a seven wraps just out to there where there's been some fish showing. And then my left hand one, I've whacked out just a rod length um, to the left of that on a zig. Um, it's sort of 12 foot out there and I've got a six foot zig out there mid depths. It's not that warm um, today. And so the sun isn't getting out and um, you know, I, I've, I've seen quite a few showing. Hopefully I can get them on the camera and um, they definitely they're definitely not feeding, they're just rolling. So I'd imagine they are in, in, in the layers. So I just got to kind of figure out where they are. Hopefully we could get a zig bite. I don't know how zigs fish on here. It's got zigs written all over it, nice clear water. So hopefully that's sort of my plan of attack. And hopefully I can uh, nail one. Right, first blood, I just had this one. So just gone midnight and this one absolutely melted off. It's 19 pounds 10 chunky uh, blue pool common and uh yeah absolutely beasted me i'm snag fishing locked up so I was straight on the rods didn't give it any line and she came in beasted me under the tip in the deep margin but yeah absolutely uh stunning fish we'll get some shots so this is the rig i i caught that little common on 19 pound little 19 pounder and i've been using on my, just a couple of grains of a uh, plastic, I suppose you would call it the German, fish in German style, size 4 crank, small little bit of braid, nice and simple. Well, um, I was saying in one of my previous videos that this year I really wanted a PB common, and my PB is 30 pounds 6, so 
I've had three fish that size and I don't seem to be able to beat it. But finally, uh, my luck's changed and I've managed a new PB common. 34 pounds, four ounces from Bearfield Blue Pool. And that's it, the over the moon. Caught a first light this morning. There we go. Absolute banger, P PB common. Was it 34 what? 34.4. Sweet. Well, good morning. As you can see, it's a pretty hectic night for myself and the lads. Absolutely brilliant result for Simon getting his PB common. I think it's probably one of the biggest commons, if not the biggest common in there, 30 pounds, uh, 34 pounds. Um, I can't remember the ounces, but at, what an absolute stunner. I would love to catch a fish like that. Real like kind of gray, slate colored. Pretty much a miniature version of the, the big, you know, barefoot common that's just over the road, the big boy. So yeah, I haven't seen that fish before. It looks absolutely stunning. What a buzz that was, seeing a fish like that on the bank. I'm not quite sure if anyone else has had any fin. It's, uh, there was so many fish crashing out all over me. I'm, I'm surprised I only had one, to be honest. The fish are uh, certainly, certainly about, but not, not feeding. They're, where I'm fishing is quite deep, deep water. So sort of out in front of me, it's going up to areas of up to 14 foot. So I've got rods, as you know, in, in, in sort of the, the shallowest water possible. I was fishing a pop-up off the snags all night that didn't, that didn't get touched and there's fish literally jumping over it. So I have to sort of think about what I'm gonna do with that rod and kind of retweak things a little bit. See if I can kind of find it another area. I might get the deeper out later and, and have a little play. I just wanna find something a little bit different. There's quite a lot of weed out in front of me as well. I must admit, I am hopeful for a chance today. The weather is, is looking pretty good it's going to get a lot warmer it's going to hopefully turn up to about there's a little drizzle here and there but going to be getting up to 18 degrees with with a lot of sun as well so like I say I'm fishing these lovely bays at, and in the afternoon the sun will get on it the fish will come into those shallow areas you know and get their heads down and, and have a munch that would be ideal things are positive I'm absolutely buzzing hopefully I can get at least a 20 plus out of this trip if not it's fine I've, I've caught one it's been great catching up with the lads but you know, I think I've got it in me to get another and to get another one. So hopefully we, there'll be some more chunks out and I'll keep you updated. Plenty of fish showing then, isn't there? All over here. That's nice. I can't believe I didn't. I mean, that one in the corner. Me too. I had fish all over me. I, I mean, this one, this wasn't on me just a buzz earlier. I just had it on a little Ronnie pop-up. But there's a real clear patch out, kind of towards that stick you can see in the bank there. And I just thought I'll drop it on there. But it was quite you're a big fish here huh? Jesus tearing I'll get the net ready how many foot have you got your zig on um, five foot down in 14 foot of yeah see I had a, I had a six foot out on um on 12 foot so I need to work that out because um Oh, well weedy there, isn't it? Yeah. It's the last thing you want. Come on, yeah, he's probably got a bit of weed on him. Yeah, look, see where he's just turning it up, look. There we go. That's a nice one. Yeah. I love a zig. Oh, it's two. Oh, no, it's him. Oh, it's off. No! That's the problem with them zigs. Yeah. That's the bloody snap of light, aren't they? The mid 20 scaly all written all over it. Yeah, that was. Yeah. It's the problem when you're trying to, you can't, you can't hold it with that no, zig line, can you? You just got to let it run a bit, don't you? Savage. No. Oh man, that was a, that was a proper nice fish as well. It wasn't even like we just saw it. It saw quite a lot of it. That definitely could have been an upper twenty as well. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Well, what can I say? Absolutely gutted. 
depression and despair. I've just lost one. Um, it finally happened out of my um, right hand rod, out of the snag that I've got placed by the pipe. I've been placing it with a pole and spoon in the margin just to make sure it's absolutely spot on. And all last night it didn't do it didn't do a touch. They, they were they were all kind of showing much much um, further to the left. Then about an hour ago I started getting a few liners on the middle rod, and then finally liners on this right hand rod and it is literally fishing right tight in the margin under the rod tips really. As I started getting liners I went round and kind of had a little look and it was fizzing up and I just knew it was going to happen so I sort of sat down put the kettle on and just as I lit the stove absolutely melted off obviously I'm fishing locked up and I was onto the rod quick and it was uh, erupted in the corner and I was in onto what seemed like a, I saw the big big plumage of water and it what looked like a uh, a decent fish I was on for for a couple of minutes it was sort of beasting me around and trying to get into the snag I was hooking holding stuff and then the hook just pulled and from the looks of it the hook is it's not dinked over the hook point is still razor sharp I just have no idea why I guess it's one of those things we have lost there's been a few lost today actually and one of the lads Ian he's lost three now gutting for him you know I was actually walking past to go to the toilet when I was he was playing a really nice mirror on a zig and you know he was beasting him up beasting him up we got it into the margin it, it, he's got quite a lot of weed in his margin it kept on diving in there and getting in the getting in the weed getting in the weed and it was literally just in front of us looked like a good fish it looked at least a mid 20 maybe even an upper 20 could have even been a 30 it was a big um, sort of scaly brute of a mirror and yeah so I was gutted for him and then I think a few a few more have been lost actually so it's a uh, it's actually got him. I'm not really sure why we've dropped a few more than more than normal, but I just suppose it's one of the things. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but we'll never know, I guess. So I suppose I better get the rod back out there. Fingers crossed, because the sun is coming out. Just as I predicted, the sun was going to come out and they were going to get in the snag, and hopefully there's still another chance for me, because they still got the rest of this afternoon and tonight, and we're off early in the morning, so there's still still a lot of time and there's still everything to play for, so hopefully I'll keep you updated and we can get one of these bangers. So this is the bait mix I've been putting out there. It's just um, hemp and a bit of corn. So there we go, a few grains of corn, hemp. There's a couple of these pellets, but they accidentally fell in the mix, but yeah, that's what's going over with a couple of grains of plastic over the top, and it's what's doing me the bites. So I've just lost one and that other snag that I've been feeding up over the last 24 hours, and hopefully they're getting in there now, so hopefully I can I can try and get another bite. Let's get the rod back out there. to do a little bit of baiting. I thought I'd just quickly show you the spot from this side and show you sort of what I'm doing. Bait wise, this is gonna be the last night, so I'm gonna put in a little bit more than what I have been. So I've got with me this bag of boilies. Um, they've been soaking in salmon oil and the S-Core serum. 14 mil Megaplex S-Core 1 and S-Core 2. And I'm just gonna crumble some of them and chuck, chuck them in there. And then just my little bucket of um, Hemp, hemp and corn. Nice and simple stuff. So let's, uh, I'll show you the spot and then let's bait up. Underneath all that scum is just an absolutely shining gravel. Five foot clean gravel, perfect for this time of year. And there's been a lot of fish over it. Get in. We're now in the second and final evening of the trip. Today has been an event for one to say the least. One thing I will say, it's been 
super fun this trip particularly today you know I've been chasing the fish around like crazy today trying to stalk them out in the margins fishing multiple zigs at different depths as the sun came out all the fish came came to the surface and they were just sort of dancing over my zigs I had them anyway from quarter depth middle depth foot under the surface six inches under the surface I had them swimming over my zig and I just couldn't get a bite we had two PBs come out today for the group and it's just buzzing to be a part of that and to film and photo it although um, I lost one and Ian lost one as well or maybe a couple and even Adam lost one so there's been a few losses today another you know and the best thing about it and the best thing about it is I've still got the evening and tonight we're off early in the morning as you've got to sort of rotate at nine o'clock here at the Barefoot Blue Pool. I, I'd recommend this uh, venue to anyone really for a group. It's got lots stacked for the fish, some nice dark ones, some scaly ones, commons, they are mostly mirrors and it's lots of uh, margin fishing, nice nice stuff. Uh, we've all been using baiting spoons and, and this and that and it, like I say you can get sort of as technical or as simple as, as you like really on here. It's a, it's a stunning place and there's, there's sort of been fish come out from all around the lake. We've all caught apart from two, which is pretty cool. If you want more information on the venue, just check it out online, check out their website. It's a bookable only uh, venue. So Jay, one of the richer for lads, he sort of sorts out the uh, the booking for us. I believe we've already got one for next year booked and I'm quite, I'd am quite i quite happily come back here once a year. It's pretty nice, clear water, nice sort of fishing, hook and hold stuff, this sort of stuff I like doing anyway. All three rods are out, the traps are set, they went out really smooth, there was no problems, no catching in the trees or any nonsense. Right hand one went out, ran out real nice on the pole. I've, I've seen a few fish down there already, so that's, I've, I've only, I haven't seen any fish down there, so even though I lost one from there, I actually seen a few in that corner, so with my hands together for the night. Middle rod out in the snag, that went tight, tight as possible, I'm like that far, I'm like that far off the bank cracking down on that clean gravel underneath the scum there where I baited up and then the left hand one is about two rod nymphs off the snag in this clear area that I found I'm fishing all three rods on, on little snowmen like this now they're on the deck I was fishing pop-ups and, and grains of corn but I'm trying to sort of my last night and trying to pick up one of the bigger ones by you know sort of feeding a bit of boilie and, and getting out there a little snowman that's just an escort tipped with a Little pink one, super simple. Wee! Back of the net, mate. He Lucas Moore there. Back of the net. Well, good morning. Well, I don't know if the uh, expression on my face uh, tells the story or not, but I'm pretty it's been an absolute miserable morning I uh I've, I've lost basically I've lost two fish this morning so that's three I've lost altogether I don't know how many we've lost as a group I don't know what's going on this this year so that's a uh, more fish lost this trip than what I do mostly in a year to be honest um, but it is what it is so what happened through the night the fish again were showing out in, in open water so I just I suppose it was about two o'clock I decided to bring bring my left hand rod in and which was which I was fishing on that clear spot and whack out a mini zig a little bit of black foam at three foot a few hours later it ripped off it's back like I said this deep margins in here and the fit their fish they're real healthy so props to the to the fishery but they absolutely just beast you beast you beast you I've got quite a lot of marginal weed so I was diving in the weed managed to get it out get it up to the surface beasting 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 now I've got um, I think it's 15 pound zig line uh, on so you know size 8 hook nothing too small but so I was being delicate with it and then it weeded me up again and again and again and again I kept on getting it out getting it out 
And then just as I was getting it to the net, look, a mirror, nice dark scaly one, looked mid 20 plus, the hook just pulled and it was just gone. And that, I was just devastated. So I whacked that back out and that's, that hasn't done anything since. I started to get a few liners about 20 minutes ago on my margin rod, very similar to what happened yesterday when I lost one. Um, except for this one melted off, you know, fishing locked up. Um, rod is, it, you know, it's bent right round. I got it in, it, it's dived for the snag, managed to get it out of the snag, came straight up to the surface. Again, they, it's come, they seem to come up and then dive straight down. Um, and this one was on for about eight minutes. It was just taking line, taking line. It was playing. I managed to get it away from, from the snag and it was just kept up. They just dive, 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 come back up again. Dive, dive, dive. Um, again, another nice mirror looking around the sort of mid 20 mark. Um, and then that one, it just pinged. I was like, oh, what's going on? And I'd been cut off. Like it was rubbing on something um, down uh, just sort of in, in the margin. And I have no idea what it is. It's cut through with my 20 pound X line, 20 pound fluorocarbon, cut, cut clean through. And um, I must admit, I'm angry. Like literally, like livid. Um, you know, I've come come here, you know, it's, it's, it's a social session and that, but I've come here, all the effort and time, and I've, I've been, I feel like I've been fishing hard and really trying to work out what I could do to get the bites and, and for it to, to sort of end like that is a uh, pretty gutting, but that's carp fishing. So sometimes it can be your best friend, sometimes it can be your worst enemy. And this, on this occasion, it's beasted me. It's not a spot they're holding up in. It's sort of, um, it's sort of 12 hours between bites. You know, I, I'm just spooning it out, handful of um, hemp and corn, few crumb boilies over it. And, and you're just sort of sitting there waiting for them to come in. And then as soon as a couple come in, you can see them down there. And then one of them eventually gets nailed and then for 10 hours so I've put one down there just in case and sprinkled some more bait over the top but it, it's not looking likely for another bite I must admit it's now 7 30 and we've got to be off the lake by nine so I'll slowly start packing well not slowly I need to start packing down now and yeah off to France next weekend so oh fish just boshed over my spot again <laughs> why why do you do this to me, the carp gods? What have I done? <laughs> so literally, look, I'm going mad, look. So that's it. I imagine nothing else will happen. Obviously, if it does, I'll film it and keep you updated. But thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or anything, just let me know. Drop me a message on Instagram, on Facebook, about the venue or just the tactics or fishing in general. And it's onward from up. It's from here. I'm uh, off to France next weekend. So hopefully I can get amongst a few chunks. I've heard that this fish have been spawned in the last week or so, so they will be down in weight, but at least hopefully they've got fully got out of the way. So they'll, they'll be ready for a big feed up by the time we get there. That's, that's the one, fingers crossed for that. And um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the bank sometime. <laughs>